It is important to remain calm and collected, even in the most extreme situations. In Umbrella's underground laboratory, I forgot that wisdom. Something about the meeting with Leon changed me. First things first, though. I must escape this town and survive in order to accomplish my objective. I can save the truth for after I make it out alive. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Umbrella Chronicles. I need to get out of here. Part 8. And no matter how many times I tell myself I'm going to complete this game once and for all, I always record a little bit of it and then I leave it for ages. Now, I need to get the hang of it again. But I reckon I'll be okay. As long as I can remember which is Z and which is B and C and all the other weird buttons on this. Why can't you give me a PlayStation controller? It's so much easier! Oh! Hunters! Giant spiders and hunters. I don't like them. But I've got some more shotgun shells and a grenade launcher. A grenade launcher? In the sewers? It's amazing what you find down here. So this scenario takes place after the events of Resident Evil 2. We know Ada survived because she was there in Resident Evil 4, using Leon's good nature against him, and basically being a complete cow. Manipulative, only out for her own interests, but how did she escape Raccoon City before it was destroyed? That's what we're going to find out now! So, this should lead to the Apple Inn area. A herb! We needed that! My contact should be here right now. We were supposed to meet in that hotel. Ooh! We're going into the Apple Inn. This is the place. But not before we fight doggies. No! Stay away from me. I don't. No. I don't want to hurt you. But if you make no, how dare you try and eat my nose? You can't do that. Ah, uh, there's loads of them. Now, listen. Stay. That no. I said stay. Bad dog. Right. I think we better get into the Apple Inn. Because these dogs are being rather naughty. Ah, the Apple Inn. Last time I was here, it was full of half-baked liquors. All over the place, trying to kill me. Now, it's just full of normal zombies. Nope, leave me alone. And you. Stay away from me! Can't do this to me. I'm Ada. Ada Wong. I'm a spy that can cartwheel in high heels. Aren't I talented? Now I must try and get some headshots. Nice. Bonk! Uh, ow! That would have been really funny if that portrait had bonked that zombie on the head. But no, it glitched right through him. Now hunters, stay away. Oh no, they're all over the place. There were no hunters in the Apple Inn! What's going on? Cutscene. He lost his will and chose death. He was weak. Wesker. And you, Ada. You have also failed. Your actions in betraying us and helping that Leon fellow will have consequences for our organization. See this? It's a tissue fragment with Birkin's G-Virus. Well, despite some setbacks, you have proven your value to us. 
Ada, there are two things you must be made aware of. One, in just moments, Raccoon City will be completely eradicated by a government-launched missile. In two, an umbrella officer will be leaving town in a helicopter. If you are not on her, there will be no way to leave Raccoon City. It is in our best interest that you survive. The G-Virus sample is required. If the T-Virus did this, what would happen if the G-Virus got out? Wesker. He only cares about people and things that he can manipulate in his own hands. Apparently, I'm still useful to him, but I know the day I stop being useful is the day I'm disposed of. Why is Ada talking to herself like that? She's there, shooting tons and tons of hunters, and just casually speaking. Wesker doesn't care about anyone but himself. Look who's talking, Ada! Miss, I exploit everyone. You will do anything to achieve your goal, and you're having a go at Wesker. You're both as bad as each other, and what's going on? Uh-oh. Baddies! Ow. Oh. Poo. Well, I buggered that up. Sorry. But never mind. I've got next to no life, I've got no first aid spray, but... We'll be alright. Hopefully. I don't want to die. I do not want to die. This city needs to fix its streets. Ada, don't walk into the fire. That's silly. Oh, now I can use my new toy. What new toy? Wow! Tenchu skills. Alright, where are we now? Oh dear, zombies. We are surrounded. Now, stay still. I'm trying to get some headshots here. Okay, we've got a headshot. And no, stay away from me. Headshot. Headshot. Nice. Headshot. And... Kick him to death! Multiple handgun bullets will not kill a zombie, but a couple of kicks will. I don't even know why we're bothering with the gun. If I can blow that up, I'll clean them up in one cell swap. Yes, maybe, but I want to use my handgun and get a few headshots. The more headshots, the nicer our rank at the end of the level. So we need to go and find a helicopter. Some way of getting out of this city. Because Wesker's told us it's going to be destroyed. This isn't good. Our contact is dead. There's no one left to help us. Just endless hordes of zombies. Just stay away from me. Oops. I blew them up. That's no good. We can't blow up zombies. I mean, if I was in this situation in real life, my first priority would be to just get rid of the zombies and get to where I need to get to. But this game seems to find it important that we blow zombies' heads off for some reason. I mean, why? Why is that so important? It's just not very respectful to the dead. But then again, I suppose no one's going to know. Because when the city has been destroyed, they shall be cremated. I think that's what they would have wanted. Well, I suppose really they would have wanted to not be zombies, but um... Too bad. They're upset, and they're taking it out on me. I'm nearly dead. Do you mind? I'm in a hurry. But not too much in a hurry that we can't get a few headshots in. Lovely. I say, what a lovely suit this person has on. Just because he is a zombie, doesn't mean he's not going to make an effort to be smart. If he didn't grab Ada in such a forceful manner, she may have been impressed. Fifteen critical hits, forty-one objects destroyed, and seventy enemies killed. 
Liquor. You were supposed to be in the inn. Where were you? I'm very disappointed. And look at my life. One more hit and I'm dead. What I really need is a herb. So if I can find a herb, I'll be very grateful. You're not a herb. You're a liquor. That's no good. How dare you be a liquor. Look down at the ground and say sorry. That's better. Come now. I cannot risk being hurt once. I need to find some health. Luckily, these liquors are nice and far away. Come on. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I better not. I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. But I found a first aid spray. At last. Bit of luck. I think a world full of zombies and monsters would be a good thing. Mainly because there would be less competition on eBay. I mean, granted, once you've bought the item, you have to assume the sender is still alive. We'll have to hope the postman isn't a zombie, and I'm not opening the door to him just in case, but we'll deal with those problems as we come to them. And, uh, uh-oh. What's going on? I remember this place. What was that noise? This doesn't sound good. Oh no. That guy? And I'm dead, straight away. Quick, but predictable. But luckily, I have my first aid spray. I must defeat him. If I can. Ah, no, put me down. What's his weak point? His head or his heart? Normally, tyrants don't like it when we shoot their heart. But his one doesn't seem to be very exposed. Oh, we're nearly dead. And so is he. Who's going to die first? Better not be me. What's he doing? Ah. I'm not going to die. I'm great and you're not, so why don't you just give up? No. We've done it. Ha ha. Zumbles? Can't you leave a girl alone? No, they can't. Their cravings are driven by primal instincts. There it is. Wait, I probably shouldn't be trying to shoot the helicopter. There's too much in my way. We need to get higher. You think I'm reckless, don't you? You stole a computer core from your own company. I wouldn't exactly call that stable. <laughs> the people who go down in history as its heroes are never stable. Inside UMF-013 is all of the research data. Dead. Umbrella will rise from the ashes. <laughs> I 
I survived the fate of Raccoon City thanks to Wesker's warning. Of course, I knew the only reason my life was spared was because I had the G-Virus tissue fragment. But I would settle things in time. We were both used to being backstabbed and manipulated. I had a feeling our partnership would last a little while longer. I think that man's reckless because once again he's cut himself messing around with his knife. He doesn't learn, does he? Ah well, we've got an S rank and uh, Adrian John. How on earth did they misspell John? Ah, oh, Resident Evil and its many inconsistencies. Got to love it. So now Wesker has obtained the G-Virus. Another little step towards ultimate power. Well done, Ada. Umbrella stock plummeted with government inquiries into their involvement in the Raccoon City incident. Before long, they were able to redirect responsibility for the incident. Part of the blame was cleverly shifted to the American government. Umbrella had strong ties in deep pockets, thus they were able to drag out the legal proceedings. Over time, it appeared that all evidence of Umbrella's involvement had vanished with the missile touchdown. How convenient for them. Though fortune has a way of turning when you least expect it. It was the year 2003. Umbrella had a base of operations in Russia where they were working on a new B.O.W. They were preparing to arm the unstable regions of the world with their bioweaponry. Chris and Joe had joined a regional biohazard containment unit and had heard rumors about this nightmarish facility. They recklessly plunged in to shut it down. They have no idea of the awesome and terrible power that awaits them with the new B.O.W., Talos. Prepare for landing. Stay on guard. We can't afford any mistakes. I really hope this new bioweapon is just a rumor. We'll just take out whatever they throw at us. Straight ahead. Stay on guard. 2003. One year before Resident Evil 4. And here we are, with all of these lovely zombies. Splat! Of course, your head. And your head. And your head. So far, so good. Look at them all. See if I can blow some up. Ha ha. Whoa! Buggies! Right. Now you... Leave me alone! Oh! Found a thing! Nice! Now, I must say, for those that have been following my updates, I'm quite excited about my new capture card, because I tried it out at my friend's house on his computer, which has a slightly updated operating system. We got it all working, and it looks brilliant. Really, really good. And now I've seen what it can do. I can't wait to get my new computer and get it all set up. Right now, I'm using the Easy Cap, which is pretty good for games that don't have higher resolutions. But when it comes to modern games, you really want to do them justice. Show them in all their glory. Enemy sighted. Why does he need to announce that? There's enemies all over the place. Headshot. Headshot. And... No, I don't want to hug. Go away. Stand still so I can get this headshot in. Look, it doesn't matter. It's only you. 
You're beyond help anyway. It's been six years since the zombie outbreak. If they're going to help you lot, they would have, but they've not. You guys are lucky that you live here in the cold. It just might preserve your dead bodies a little bit longer. Oh, not these guys. Now, can I get a headshot? You're too close. Go away. That's right. Stand back. Damn. He pressed down on the radio just to scream. Ah! Headshots! 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 Come on! Headshots! Oh no! This man seems to have some sort of impenetrable hat! Very wise. Just need to keep these guys at bay. Try and get as many headshots as possible. When they go for a hug, use your knife. And when they try and scratch, that's when you... Use your shotgun. Like that. There we go. No! Go away. No! Shut up, Chris! You haven't handled anything. You've just stood there and watched me do all the work. Why don't you just inject some steroids into your brain and lift some weights? Because by the time of Resident Evil Revelations, you're going to be a big muscle head. What is it? It's 2003 now. Revelations is set in 2005. So in two years, you're going to turn into that. And in six years, we're shipping you off to Africa to meet Sheva. But for now, we've got to deal with these zombies and I hate spitting zombies. Especially that one there. I cannot be bothered to deal with them when I have next to no health. This is just never ending. I bet we'll turn the corner and there'll be more zombies. Still, I suppose, really, I should be lucky we're not fighting the Magini or the Elgato. Elgato? Elgato? No, that's my capture card. What are they called? The, uh. I've forgotten! Ha <laughs> ha! Las Plagas, that's the one. They'll be running around all over the place saying possibly quite evil things that I don't quite understand, going take Yero. And God knows what that means. It probably means I'm going to kill you. In Ganado. Right now, we're dealing with good old zombies. A nice small vocabulary. You know where you are with a zombie. Now leave me alone and stop trying to scratch me. You git. Splat. Oh dear. I heard them coming. <sighs> More spitting zombies. Right, you die straight away. If I have a great big massive load of zombies all coming up towards me, I'm not going to try and get headshots on spitting zombies. Takes too long. Too risky. <gasps> Shotgun. Just in time. Just three stupid zombies left. Oh, come on! I need to reload my shotgun. One more attack and I'm dead. I don't want to die. I can't have been playing that long, but it feels like I've been recording this for ages. I need some health right now. I wonder what it's like inside. There could be anything in there. We can infiltrate down below or secure the stairs. It's dark. Stay on your toes. Well, I'm not going to lay down and shoot the zombies, am I? Uh oh. No, nope, come on. Yeah, right! Non-playable characters have a history of being useless at dealing with zombies, regardless of how well-armed they are. And I didn't mean to use my grenade there, but probably for the best. These zombies are a bit too close, and I don't like it. I need a herb. 
Who knows what they're going to throw at me before the end of this level? Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Herb! Brilliant! Now I'm ready for anything. Oh no, not you again! Chimeras. We haven't seen these guys since the Spencer Mansion. More of them! Right, get rid of them first. And you, stay away. We're going to get some- no, don't want a hug. We're going to get some headshots. Go away! Stupid git. Look! I told you to stay back! Good. I think he's given up now. I think he's just a very lonely zombie. God, I bet this guy didn't get very many girlfriends. It's too clingy. There. I've put him out of his misery. Killed his twin brother. And... I've now... Killed his mate. By which I mean his friend, not his lover. And now we have an army of Chimera trying to kill me. So we may as well use this machine gun. Just get rid of the bullets. And whilst I've got this time, I'm going to reload my guns. Nothing worse than when you desperately need a bit of personal space and all of your guns are empty. Okay. Where, where on earth did these guys come from? I don't like it down here. It's so dark, so spooky. All these horrible things crawling around. Look at them! Oh dear. Whose idea was it to come down here anyway? Thanks a lot, Chris Redfield. I mean, I suppose when we were outside, it was very, very cold, and it's nicer in here, but it's just a bit too crowded. It's too dark, so I need my light. Meanwhile, these zombies are attracted to us like moth to a flame. If they just settled down for one second, I would be happy to cook them a nice dinner. What were they like? I suppose vegetarian chicken. How's that sound? Oh. Maybe not. We need to find some way of weaning them off this crazy meat diet they've got. But I suppose that using a vegetarian meat substitute is a little bit too cruel. We'll have to feed them something with a bit more flavour, like cardboard. It's said that eating fish is good for your brain. It's the omega-3 content, so zombies like brain food, let's feed them fish. Simple as that. They need to control their urges, get a job, and eat fish. And I reckon we can live together as one. And I just picked up another file. Great. Oh dear. Now, I'm trying not to shoot any of these barrels because I just want the headshots. But I've noticed that this it Oh no, right, barrel. Never mind. I eat my own words. I was going to say, before I was rudely interrupted, that I'm trying to not shoot the barrels because I want to get headshots, but I had a stupid spitting zombie, so that spoilt that. I could spend all day trying to get a headshot, but... Oh well. Ah. Hunters and chimeras teaming up. See, they can do it. Why can't zombies and humans? Look, you see that? When a hunter sees a human, it tries to chop your head off. But there we saw a hunter and a zombie and chimeras all living together in harmony. They were fine before I turned up, all living together. And then suddenly, me and Chris walk in and start shooting everyone. Who's the real monster here? Now this level is called Umbrella's End. We're going to see the fall of Umbrella. Does this mean the end of zombies? Have Chris and Jill finally succeeded after all this time? Going to have to watch and find out. And once again, I don't know. I've never played Resident Evil Revelations. I've got it, but I want it to be a blind let's play. So, if anyone's wondering, yes, I will do Resident Evil Revelations. It looks good. Oh no! Ah! I saw a file then, and I missed it. Typical. That is just typical. Oh well. Never mind. 
Well, there's a file down there. For anyone that wants to know. This is the place. The place? What place? The place? Oh. Thanks, Chris. That's useful. Let's try and get some headshots. And a headshot. And yeah. another headshot. What's wrong, Jill? Oh, it's nothing. When a woman says it's nothing, she means it's something. Apparently. Perhaps it's the thought of two giant spiders and some undead cannibals coming up towards you. Stay away from me. Headshot. Hunters. Hello. Uh, oh, this is bad. I need to reload. No, 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 no. This is getting intense. And I've not even encountered a checkpoint yet. Oh, what's going on? I see Herb. What's that? Something going towards us. B. Well, not a B. A, uh... A hook thing. But we escaped it. Where'd they come from? They're all over. Never mind where they came from. I want to know who set off that crane thing to try and attack me. Are you trying to say that was a zombie? Very intelligent zombie. Oh dear, a spitter. Right, you die. No. Ah! Multiple spitters. Get away from me. I can't believe this. You spent all this time trying to attack Jill whilst Chris is standing there perfectly fine using me as a human shield. It's no wonder in classic Resident Evils everyone splits up. It's the only way to make certain dead weights actually do something. Chris, you have to put in an effort. See? I'm dead now, thanks to you. Luckily, I have a first aid spray. That zombie got me just before I can switch to the shotgun. <gasps> spiders! Big spiders. We'll get them with our machine gun. Oh, what was that? No. Can jump over. <laughs> our machine gun is empty. Too bad. But I think we're going to be okay. I don't like this though. We're in a big room, and we're getting lots of pickups. Why? Are we going to be fighting a big boss in a minute? Or are we just going to be encountering tons and tons of zombies? Oh dear. No, 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 no. Go away. You go away. I don't want to deal with hunters. Or zombies. In fact, I just want a nice eventless game where I sit down and do nothing. Hello and welcome to Let's Sit Down and Look at the Wall. Isn't it pretty? Where'd they all come from? We're getting surrounded. We have to fall back. You're right. Run for it. Oh, wait. No. I want to get some headshots. All right. Fine. Headshots. Oh, what's that shiny thing on top of the blue crate? Headshots. Go away. Headshots. Go away. Headshots. And headshots. This is going brilliantly. Damn it. Bronson. Chris, we can't let his death be in vain. All right. Let's see this through. Right. Let's go. Not Bronson. He was my friend. Well, I say friend, not great friend, but he provides some quality radio conversations. You know, screaming down the radio. Ah! <laughs> that was brilliant. But I notice, Chris didn't even have to look at Bronson's face. He recognised him by his bottom. What does that say about Chris? And he's standing behind Jill right now. Chris, what are you looking at? Keep your eyes on the zombies. Here they come, watch out! Okay, I'm ready for you. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good, but we're at full health, so we're going to be okay. Look at them all. 
We're going to have a mountain of hunters soon. All over the floor. Oh dear, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the mountain of hunters. I didn't pay attention to how many bullets I had in my gun. Even though I had a great big massive flashing reload on the screen. But I can't reload when the hunter is right in front of me. There were so many of them. What's with this place? We'll have to check it out. We are checking it out. But it's good. We got through it. Now what? Chris, something about this floor. Yeah, I noticed. Something about this floor. Who says that? Abandon hope. The nightmare ends here and now. We've done it. The results. Okay. Rank A. Good enough for me. Thank you very much for watching, and join me again next time for Let's Play Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles Part 9. See you later.